Okay, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the footage that we shot in the previous video, and we're gonna show you how to de-squeeze it so that it looks like it should be uh, shot on the anamorphic lens. So here's the footage here. This is Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll click on it for a second. So we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, and you can see everything is just super straight up and down squeezed. And we definitely don't want that. <laughs> so we're gonna click here. It's very simple. Click on the footage. Right click there, and then you're going to go into Modify Interpret Footage. And then once you're in this uh, box, we're going to go into Pixel Aspect Ratio, and we're going to select Conform To, and then from the drop down, there's two options, Anamorphic 2.1 and anim uh, HD Anamorphic 1080. Uh, we want the 1.33. Even though this is 4K, it's still going to be 4K, but we want it to be 1.33. We're going to click OK. And now everything is shot the way it should be. Um, if we go into properties here, you'll see that it says uh, image size 3800 by 21. Well, that's because it's squeezed now, but we're in 4K format still. So it didn't, even though it said HD, we're not in HD. Um, and then we're going to select it and drag it here to the plus icon. And then it's going to add a sequence that we can now start to edit. And our footage is in there. We can go into color correcting and add more footage and everything in the world. I love Adobe Premiere Pro. You can do some great things in it. So now let's jump into Final Cut Pro. And here's our footage in Final Cut Pro. And you can see once again, it's super squeezed. And Final Cut Pro is easy too. So as you can see right here, here's the pot that's really tall and squeezed and not looking how it should. So we're just going to select the clip here and over on the right side, you want to make sure that you have this selected, which is the sliders here. It's going to give you all your motion tab and in the Y scale, we're just going to click on it once and we're going to get rid of, let's see, click on it twice. There we go. And we're going to change that from a hundred percent to 75% click enter. And there you go. Everything is now as it should be. So that's turning it into 1.33 ratio. Very simple in Final Cut Pro as well. Now in Photos, we're gonna go into Photoshop here. And um, you have your Photoshop. So here you might have to do some math. <laughs> but luckily we have Amazon Alexa and she does it all for us. So this is our image here. And we're gonna go up into Image, Image Size. And you can see we're at 4,032 uh, by 3024. So we need to change uh, the top number so that it stretches. But in order to do that, and we're going to leave the bottom number alone, the, the height. Um, so the width, we need to find out. We're going to multiply this number, whatever it is, times 1.33. And before you do that, you want to make sure this is probably on by default, which uh, links the two. So if you change one size, it's going to change the other. You got to make sure this is off. And um, because I checked earlier, I know 1.33 times uh, 4,032 is roughly 5,362. So I'm going to type in 5,362, click enter. And there I have a perfect anamorphic photograph that you can use on your social media or whatever you're trying to do, or even just maybe make a print of it. I mean, it's beautiful the way that it looks like that. So that's how easy it is to change your footage if you didn't use Filmic Pro. Um, or even to do photographs. And I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're enjoying your anamorphic lens.